Here I am uh, right next to LA Vintage Gear in a top secret uh, place and I have um, with me one of the biggest sorcerer of um, pedal boards. I am with uh, Dave Phillips. How are you doing uh, today? Doing very well. Thank yeah. you. Nice it's, to meet you. It's kind of uh, strange for me to be standing right next to you because I remember clearly I saw a video of you uh, with uh, Tim Pierce interviewing you and talking about the uh, incredible uh, rack uh, we have uh, here. So it's kind of strange to be like uh, inside <laughs> the, 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 the actual place. Sure, the same room, same yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what you do basically here. Uh, we do audio design for uh, musicians, okay. uh, guitar players, bass players, um, anything pretty much, but it's mainly guitar players okay um, we deal with the session guys in LA and we deal with uh, guitar players worldwide okay you know, from hobbyists to professionals mm -hmm. to anyone okay and uh, they bring us their stuff and we configure it and wire it specifically for them the size of the board everything they need is all custom okay so it's not like we, we do one product out it's it's molded to whatever they need who are the your main uh, customers uh, we deal with uh, Michael Landau uh, Paul Jackson Jr. Okay. Tim Pierce, uh, Eric Johnson, okay. uh, Doyle Bramhall, mm -hmm. um, uh, Dave Amato from Mario Speedwagon, uh, Vivian Campbell from Def Leppard. Okay. You know, there's a few of them. Yeah, I see. <laughs> so, uh, you know, a lot of worldwide players and a lot of, uh, you know, local and uh, worldwide. Uh, I thought the era of big rack mount uh, system was over. So it seems it's not, not the case uh, right here? Not as much <laughs> in the States, more pedal boards, but in Europe there's a resurgence of racks. Okay, interesting. Guys that love those old tones from the 80s, you know, your Dan Huff and your Landau and yeah. look at their sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys still, and I I would say 98% of what I do is boards and 2% is racks. Ah, okay, okay. But I still do the occasional one for the guys for their studio mm -hmm. or or for guys that just love that sound so much they want to have it. Okay. So. And, so, and uh, uh, apart from the famous uh, customer you just mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, do you have some amateur coming there to get uh, their pedal board uh, uh, so neat and so uh, well done uh, by you? Or Amateurs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I get a lot of hobbyists uh, that just like play on the weekends and stuff and, okay. and, and at home. Mm -hmm. And they just they have all these pedals and they want to have it you know put together for, really quiet and mm. ease of use and yeah that's a lot of my clients are amateurs as well okay uh were you able to go to the winter dam or you don't want I, to i uh... went for about three hours okay <laughs> i've it been so enough. many times okay. that, you know and i just go to socialize because i see all the gear come in here every day so okay. I, i know it's out there but <laughs> i i went to the show and then i had the uh, opportunity to see eric johnson at downtown and that oh was yeah a, he played the uh, one night incredible yeah. Yeah. so i love he's one of my favorites so mm. I, i went and saw that and that was my nam experience basically okay Uh, if there is, um, is there a pedal or piece of gear that really amazed you uh, recently? Yes, the uh, I'm really amazed by the Chenet Vibe. Uh, uh, there's a company out of Texas that makes replicas of the vintage vibes that Hendrix used and all okay. that back in the day, mm -hmm. and they came out with a small version that is amazing. Sounding. Amazing, very big sounding. I'm blown away by that. Uh, Shin, another company, similar name, but Shin in Japan makes uh, Dumbloid and he makes this clean boost that is the, one of the best clean boosts I've ever heard. Interesting. That shapes the whole guitar sound, so that blew, that's exciting. Chase Bliss, I came across a reverb pedal they make that replicates the uh, 480L re Lexicon okay. reverb from the day with the mm -hmm. faders. Mm -hmm. That seemed very impressive. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah. Is there some digital stuff here, or it's uh, against your uh, religious uh, belief? No, I, you know, <laughs> the Strymon stuff's digital, and, yeah. and 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 a lot of our clients love that, and yeah. I use that. Um, I'm an analog guy, so I tend to. And what about uh, the Kemper, the fractal stuff? I no? rarely see that in okay. here. Occasionally, I did a rig for Alice Cooper's guitar player, and he had the. Uh, Kemper in there okay. as his rig, and then I've done one or two fractal rigs. Mm. That's not my thing. I'm more analog, you know, heads, amps, you know, preamps. I, I just something about that 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 I like. But I will do whatever the client brings me. You know, if that's what they're using, you know, Vivian Campbell was all analog, and now they switch to the uh, fractal. Mm -hmm. So it's whatever they go with, and you know, that's what we do. Regarding amp, uh, what is according to you the best uh, tube amp uh, on the market? Two rock. Two rock. 
hands okay, down. Okay, no hesitation. Uh, the best built, best. I mean, some of the best sounding amps I've ever heard, and they're 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 built inside like a Rolls Royce. They're okay. just beautiful. Okay. And I also love Blankenship amps for the more vintage style. Okay, I'm not familiar uh, with he that. Makes, he makes tweed type amps, blackface type amps, Marshall type amps, and they're all hand wired by him. And that's some of my favorites as well. And um, yeah, I like Morgan amps. I like, oh, yeah? um, you know, next door they have Benson, mm -hmm. divided by 13 are great. But uh, yeah, Two Rock are some of my favorite that I've heard. Tomorrow, I'm going to visit uh, the factory, the Friedman factory visit, where they built uh, Morgan and uh, all that. Great. What uh, should I uh, expect? What should I look uh, for specifically? Well, I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously the Friedman amps are, are some of the best high gain amps yeah. out there, mm. and, and so yeah, those would be the ones to look at. And the Synergy products. Yeah, you try that. It's love cool. the Synergy. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, that's that's some cool stuff. Mm. Putting those modules and getting all those sounds. That's a, that's a good idea mm. and pretty neat. Okay. So, David, thank you very much for having me uh, um, without any uh, appointment or anything. And uh, let's uh, do some video, maybe with some guitar sounds. Sure, yeah? definitely. Okay, cool. Okay. Coming from pedal, the Correct. amp is uh, pretty the clean. Is, the amp is a, is, a, is a clean platform. Okay. JTM 45100. Okay. Same, it's a repo of what Hendrix and uh, Clapton used. Okay. So, what's the clean sound? Is that the I, clean sound? Uh, clean sound is basically, I'm using this this uh, Shin Clean Boost. Okay. Oh, that's the one you mentioned. Yeah, that's yeah, the one yeah. I mentioned. this secret preamp uh -huh. by Chase Tone, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite pedals for like an Echoplex preamp out of an Echoplex. Ah, okay. So you use two, two preamp? One Basically of the... a boost and then a preamp. Okay. And then the clean sound is this Echo Rec mm -hmm. and the Super Moon. Okay. Just those two pedals. I'm going kind of for an Eric Johnson kind of thing. Mm. Echoplex with the reverb. Yeah. And then when I go to my lead, it goes into this Oxbow Wah. Okay. Into this XTS Tejas boost. Mm -hmm. A Dumbloid by Shin, same company that makes that. Okay. The XTS Precision Overdrive. Mm -hmm. And then into my volume pedal, this Ibanez Sound Tank. Okay, super expensive pedal. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Into this Dynaver, and okay. that's the lead sound. And then for my rhythm sound, I have this XTS Fuzzy Tube Driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds 
aus haben. And then, just as a, as I'm into vintage stuff, we have a 1972 phase shifter, which is like the best phaser I've ever heard. <laughs> Very nice, gorgeous. And what? Well, and this cabinet has uh, 1972 greenbacks in it, mm -hmm. and this is made by Kerry Wright, who is the best cabinet maker in the world. Okay, Kerry Wright. Mm. He makes cabinets for Van Halen, the Eagles, Lenny Kravitz, um, Eric Clapton. Gosh, the Stones. Yeah. I and think I heard uh, Scott Anderson mentioning Scott him, right? Anderson, yeah. Mike Landau, mm. he, everything is handcrafted by him personally in Fullerton, and he made this head shell. Mm -hmm. He made the cabinet. So it makes a big difference to have a, actually a very good cabinet oh, because you, well, you yeah, would think the, that only the speakers the, the, matter. The, the space that he he makes, the type of wood, yeah, the type of glue, everything. The, I mean, the way he he designs is acoustic. Okay. As opposed to just putting wood together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is designed for his specs, and he is the best. And okay. I, I only use his stuff, and he's, if you want a, the best cabinet ever, he's the guy. Okay. And this is your personal rig? This is my personal rig, and I, this is also one of my, my blanket ship 170 watt twin plex, mm -hmm. and then another carry right cabinet with black backs in it. And then my two rock classic reverb signature over there. So okay. And then at home I have a blanket ship plexi and another carry cab. So that's all my stuff. Very and, cool. And another pedal board. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Harmonix pedals. Great. I collected them. I thought, let me put them all on one board. So we designed it. We got a '79 Mistress. Mm -hmm. We got a '70, '75 or four Big Muff. Okay. The Little Muff. Mm -hmm. The Linear Power Booster. Small stone, late 70s, uh, Soul Preacher compressor, envelope filter Dr. Q, and a baseballs. And this is like a 79 clone theory, which is made famous by James Honeyman Scott on, um, on all the pretenders. Okay. And then the memory man, obviously. And uh, yeah, all this stuff just sounds so cool together. I can get police sounds, I can get David Gilmore, I can get pretenders. 